can you resist those big, glossy eyes? I just want to squish them. But that's not just another pretty face. Did you know seal pups are some of the smartest infants in the world? Research shows that seal brains are 70% developed at birth, compared to human infants whose brains are only 25% developed. When sugar gliders are born, they're only the size of a grain of rice. It takes about 70 days for them to mature enough to leave their mother's pouch. In another month, they're fully independent. That's when these baby sugar gliders are then ready to spread their patagium, in other words, their gliding membrane, and fly. They grow up so fast! Talk about a bite-sized snack. Adult quokkas are quite busy, if you know what I mean. Females give birth twice a year and will produce about 17 offspring in their lifetime. But poor quokka joeys have a strained relationship with their mothers. If threatened, they are known to dump their baby in order to make a quick getaway. A wombat joey is about the size of a jelly bean. It crawls from the birth canal to the pouch where it stays for about 10 months. A female wombat's pouch is located near her butt. Yep, you heard that right. Their behinds are made up of four plates fused together and padded with fur, cartilage, and fat. Hey, it might sound gross, but it's the most protected part of her body. Why did the skunk family cross the road? Hey, those goats are wearing my onesies. They say it takes a village, and luckily baby monkeys are born into a vast network of family members. From a young age, these cuties are able to recognize and communicate with their kin. They're playful and curious, which can sometimes get them in trouble. But how can you be mad at a face like that? Can you imagine being pregnant for 22 months and then giving birth to a 120 kilogram baby? Lucky you're not an elephant. Elephant calves can stand one meter tall and are usually hairy with a long tail and short trunk. A human baby sucks its thumb, right? Well, a baby elephant will suck on its trunk to soothe itself. When they're about one, a baby elephant will lose their tusks and their adult tusks will start to grow in. I wonder what the tooth fairy's rate is for one of those bad boys. These babies look like tadpoles. So tiny, yet so cute. Arachnophobes, this is your warning. I can guarantee you'll disagree with our next pick. Female funnel web spiders spin a pillow-shaped silk egg sac where they lay over 100 eggs. The mother dutifully guards her young and the baby spiders stay by her side for a few months after being born. They may be cute, but make no mistake, several funnel web species are highly toxic and have fast-acting venom. How can something so cute be so deadly? A joey spends the first six months to a year of their lives in the warm embrace of their mother's pouch. While there, they nurse on their mother's milk and can even relieve themselves. The pouch absorbs some of the waste, and the mother kangaroo does a deep clean every now and then. Kangaroo joeys have it made, especially compared to quokka joeys. I don't know why they'd ever want to leave. But we all have to grow up eventually. When they're ready, joeys will peek their little head out and observe the world. Then they'll hop alongside their mothers, and the circle of life continues. Which animal from our list was your favorite? Personally, I want to snuggle with a baby quokka. Want more adorableness? Check out our video about the cutest octopus in the world. Charming us with their lovable faces is what these animals do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.